Hey, Andrew here. Today we're gonna to take a look at Magtech's 5.56 millimeter 62 grain full metal jacket. It is, as the box says, 5.56 pressure, so it ought to function your rifle reliably. We wanna find out if it will fragment reliably. So let's get out to the range and shoot it out of a 10 and a half inch ARFCOM upper into calibrated 10% ballistic gelatin. All right, guys, I know this is gonna be difficult for you to see from this angle. In a minute, we'll go around and we'll take a look at from the other angle. Um, you know, I wish I could have more blocks and, and all that. I, I know that that's not ideal, but hopefully the high speed showed you a little bit of what's going on. Unfortunately, I can't shoot more blocks because, well, there's kind of a shoestring budget here, so the choice is either we get to see another test or we don't get to see another test. The choice is not see another test in a fresh block. Let's come around and get the light behind it. Okay, folks, the entrance is here. Fairly decent sized temporary stretch cavity. I believe this is the projectile here, but I won't know until I dig it out. So I'm gonna get a measurement first then I'll dig it out and we'll take a look at it. The neck is about two inches long. Temporary stretch cavity is about three inches wide by six inches long. Penetration is 13.6 inches. Let's get in here and see if that's what I think it is. Yep, there it is. That is definitely the bullet we were looking for. At this velocity, we're not seeing fragmentation. We're just seeing the typical thing that you often see with lower velocity 62 grain full metal jacket. That's where it squishes the back end a little bit, squeezes a little bit of lead out that you could technically call fragmentation, but it's not properly fragmentation. And most of this temporary stretch cavity is a result of the yaw of the bullet. So <laughs> I know a lot of fanboys are really into that Russian propaganda and they think the 7N6 is the poison bullet because of the yaw and all that. But you know what? Pretty much all Spitzer bullets yaw and most vanilla 62 grain full metal jacket will yaw relatively early. In fact, earlier than 7N6 usually does. And we see that in this case. Now, at a higher speed, this would probably fragment. So I'm gonna take one more shot into this gel with a 16 inch barrel. We'll see how it does. We're not gonna see much, there won't be much to look at, but we'll be able to tell whether or not it was able to fragment. And that's the important thing. All right, that's more like it. So you will have seen a lot more on the high speed than we can really see in the gel now because we've got so many shots in it. Of course, obviously disregard this one up here going this way and this one going this way down there. Those are different shots, different tests. But that's where the money shot is. Lots of disruption and here's the the real story is that we see some serious fragmentation here, 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 here. There's just lead chunks all over the place. 
I didn't have a lot of time to look at the high speed as I was marking it to save, but I did see a fairly decent chunk coming out of the side of it and falling down this way. We'll take a look at that afterwards also. We can also see something exited here. Hopefully we can catch that on the high speed too. But the measurements are about a two inch neck kind of guessing on the temporary stretch cavity because it's in a similar place as the previous shot from the 10 and a half inch barrel but it looks like looks like about seven and a half inches by four inches the deepest fragment is just before the part that exited that fragment is at 13.1 inches, but we can safely say that the total penetration is going to be something in excess of 13 inches because of this part that came out right here. All things told, this would be adequate for home defense. Is it ideal? Well, no, there are some that have a shorter neck and there are some that have a more linear penetration and all that, but it meets the penetration standard. It did fragment, so it's gonna be better than say, I don't know, 55 grain Tula full metal jacket. Overall, it is a go at this station. Okay, so from a 16 inch, yes, it fragments. Um, again, you know, causes a nice big temporary stretch cavity. The neck was reasonably short. Uh, the sort of stuff that we normally see from fragmenting full metal jacket in 223 or in 5.56 millimeter. Does this make it a good choice for defensive use? Uh, well, I'd say an adequate choice. Again, like all fragmenting FMJ, yeah, it's adequate. Messes stuff up. Um, the, remember that the Frontier 62 grain full metal jacket was able to fragment out of the 10 and a half inch barrel, whereas this took a little bit of extra velocity to get the job done. In any case, if you find a good deal on this, no reason not to buy it up. It's good range ammo, it's 5.56 pressure, and you know what? It would do a reasonably good job, terminally speaking, at least at close range. If you have any questions, or if you disagree with anything that I've said, definitely leave a comment below. I always like to hear your feedback and let me know how I can do a better job at these tests. If you want to rent a Phantom high-speed camera, just like the one that I used for this test, Get in touch with Aimed Research. Their contact information is in the description below. They'll get you squared away. Have a great day.